Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. Today, I wanted to get into my beauty products that I absolutely love and swear by. I did a video recently about things that I swear by that I would rebuy, but this list has beauty products as well as makeup. In this video, I'm gonna share my top makeup brands that I swear by and skincare products that I actually use on a regular basis. As a young woman who's in her 40s, I think it's really important for us to pay attention to our skin, pay attention to the products that we're buying. Um, if we're gonna try a new product, definitely do a skin patch test first on anything, whether that's your hair, your body, anything new that you're adding to your routine, you wanna always do a patch test. Now, I am not a dermatologist, I just like to take care of my skin. I'm gonna start out with makeup that I've been wearing for four plus years that I swear by. Now, each product that I mention, I feel like they are affordable. If it's not affordable for some, I am 100% sure you can find something with similar or the exact ingredients. Okay, I'm sitting in front of my vanity, so it's really, really bright in here today. So I'm gonna start out with my makeup brand. And for those of you guys who are new here, the lights sometimes can make me look a little bit lighter, but I am a dark-skinned woman. And I'll start off with my foundation that I use on a regular basis. So I'm gonna start off with my NARS. You guys can see that. Sheer Glow Foundation. And this is the color... People say it wrong, but it says Marquises. Okay, for the girls who do not love makeup and do not want to cover up a lot of the, I guess your natural imperfections on your skin, go for something like this. I am gonna try one more to have two in my rotation. Um, I only use a really small amount of this and I don't put a ton of makeup on. So if you can look at my skin very closely, I do not have a lot. I pump one pump and I just kind of spread it around. So NARS brand is a brand that I absolutely love. I have not had any issues as far as skin irritation. So for me as a girl in her 40s, I do not need to go through acne as an adult. So I'm very careful with what I use and I also don't try a bunch of new stuff on my skin as far as makeup, but I will probably try something as far as skincare, depending on the type of research and things that I find out as far as my research. So this is a foundation that I absolutely love. If you're getting into makeup, I would definitely say check out NARS. I love it. No issues with my skin and I would definitely recommend it. And again, this is Marquise's. I don't even know if you guys could actually see that because it's like really bright, but Marquise's is that one. I also have this other NARS foundation. This is more of a full coverage. The reason why I don't use this one um, is because it definitely covers my everything. And I personally don't like that. Maybe if I was doing like a photo shoot, but I do still want certain things to kind of like shine through. I have a couple of beauty marks on my face that I try not to cover them. Even if I have like a mark, I do like to have it shown. So these are the two. They are both Marquises, same. Um, this one does not come with a pump top. You have to buy it separate, but all in all, I absolutely love this foundation. The next favorite makeup item in Holy Grail would be my two concealers by NARS. Now you're gonna notice that a lot of the products that I, I that I am using are from NARS. This one is a little bit darker, this one's a little bit like lighter. I use this one last as a top layer to make it a little bit brighter, and then I add this one first. Absolutely love the creamy concealer. Now I am looking for a new concealer. That is solely because sometimes I feel like this is running out rather quick, but I love it. It's smooth. I have no issues with like creasing or anything like that. And it's probably because I put on my, my translucent powder first and then I actually add this on next. So two colors, one is, one is Cafe and the other one is Amande, which is the lighter version. Absolutely love them, super creamy. And I think they are pretty affordable, but these are my holy grail. I think the only other concealer I use is the little cheap one from LA Girl. And that's for like my eyebrows or something like that. But these right here, girlies, I am going to swear about this. 
maybe I will start trying other makeup um, and show you guys, especially on my skin tone. I just need to make sure I'm in a position to where it's not too bright and you could actually see how something looks on my skin. So I'll probably do like lipstick or something. Maybe. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. So the other holy grail would be my Laura Mercier powder. So if you're applying makeup, again, I'm not a makeup guru, but if you want to start trying makeup, regardless of how old you are, I do the bare minimum. <laughs> but if you want to try it out, try out the Laura Mercier, the honey version. I like this version better than the translucent one. It's just too light for me, but I definitely would recommend this one. I don't know if the color is going to come up on here. You probably, it's a little yellowish a little bit. You probably really can't tell. But I like this a lot. Um, I do not put this all over my face, but I definitely would swear by this one, especially under here. I don't put a ton. I do not want it to crease. So when you are applying any type of makeup under your eyes and you got a little wrinkle because it happens, definitely check this out. And the other thing before I actually put anything on, Bobbi Brown Enrich Vitamin um, Enrich Face Base. Listen, it's almost gone. Can you guys see? <laughs> I absolutely love this okay it does have like a perfumey smell so I was a little skeptical at first because I thought it would break my skin out but it did not so this is probably like my third bottle but absolutely love it so this is my base I'm gonna put this on my face before I do anything else and to be quite honest guys I still put Vaseline on I don't know what my deal is I still do it and it's probably bad for my skin but I've been doing this since I was a small kid all right <laughs> so let's get into the next next product that i absolutely love and that is my holy grail It'd be my morphe bronzer now can you guys see that color come up i tried the nars one it just didn't do anything for my skin as a dark skinned woman the name of this one is leader it's very dark and it's definitely dark skin girl friendly okay and for those of you guys who like oh you're not that I am dark skin there are variations to being dark skin the lights do make me look lighter I'm a dark skin woman some women may look darker on camera because they are probably darker than I am if that makes sense um, but there's just different variations of us and this I absolutely love I'm probably gonna always buy this one because I have not found one that I absolutely love yet. Maybe I probably should watch some of the makeup girlies because I'm sure there's more, but I love this one. It's a holy grail for me and I swear by it. So these are just holy grails that I'm gonna always swear by and always absolutely wear <laughs> when I go for makeup. Most of these items are like everyday makeup that I put on every single day nothing is kind of over the top the only thing I would say is if I don't have on like a bunch of powder and stuff I'm probably not gonna put on my all-nighter this is another holy grail I do want to try a new setting spray this one is fine um, but I do want to try a new one I think it's called OS or something like that but for now this is my travel size one my other one is in the drawer so this is another holy grail for me I feel like setting spray is like the magic touch and it like sucks everything on your face together like a painting even if you don't wear a lot so if you guys look at my skin it's not a ton of makeup on me it's really not I put like a little bit of foundation um, I'll put the powder I'll put my other holy grail which I'm going to show you right now is MAC press powder and I'll show you guys that. It's not super, you can't really see it. It's not super um, dark. It's like a reddish, but it's not like covering my skin. But I absolutely love this press powder and this is dark deep. Actually, it's a mineralized um, powder. Love it, love it, love it. I've been using it for a really, really long time. Let's open it back up for you guys. I've been using this for a really, really long time and I swear by it. So this is a part of my everyday makeup. Each product here that I'm showing you 
is a part of my everyday makeup routine for a natural look, not over the top. I'm not really big on like a glammed up face. Um, I don't know, sometimes I wear lashes, sometimes, most of the times I don't. And maybe I need to start. But child, they're so hard to get on. Like I just don't have the patience for them. But I'm cool without them. I am because I'll take them off every night. I, I wouldn't be able to sleep in those. So this is another holy grail that I absolutely love. And the last three makeup items that I absolutely swear by are these three lipsticks. Okay, let me open them up and try not to make a mess. Here's three lipsticks let me see if i can pull them up a little bit more for you guys okay three lipsticks that i love this top right one is photo by mac this middle one is spirit not spirit myth and the last one is spirit so spirit i wear a lot and i also put myth in the middle photo i would do the same kind of setup as i would do um spirit so these are my natural color lipsticks if you are a dark skin girl definitely check these out i absolutely love these the reason why i like these a lot is because i feel like for dark skin women it's really hard for us to find something that is natural um in a nice neutral color without being too pale on the lips definitely love this now myth in the middle is kind of bright However, once you put on some chestnut liner, which is another um, holy grail of mine, you won't have the issue of it looking too pale. For me, it's just something that I absolutely love. And I think I purchased this, I discovered this like 20, 2015, I believe. I think 2015. But those are my holy grails as far as my makeup products. I'm gonna get into my skincare products and show you guys those as well. So let me know if you got what you guys think so far. If you stay to this part of the video, make sure you are liking the video below and I'll do more of these for you guys. I did say that I do not try a bunch of new things on my skin and that is solely because your girl is not trying to get adult acne. Like I'm just not trying to deal with that. So I kind of like stick to the same things up until recently where I actually purchased some new products. Not the cheapest, but I absolutely love them. And they are now a part of my holy, holy grail, guys. The first product that I have shown you guys a million times, it is a holy grail. It's affordable. You can get it at any drugstore. I recently thought that it was discontinued and I was panicking. The reason why I was panicking is because I have been using this product since I was in my early 20s. Okay, it's been around for that long. It's a cream cleanser, no issues to my skin. And it's probably because it's a cream cleanser. It's about six bucks. <laughs> That's it. I like it. My esthetician did tell me, she's like, the, the reason why you probably don't have any really bad skin issues is because you use a cream cleanser and child, I was using Vaseline. But this is a holy grail. It's so bright so you guys can't see it. But this is my Neutrogena um, Deep Clean Cleanser. Absolutely love it, affordable. Now I recently started double cleansing and started using this Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. Y'all, I don't even know if y'all can see because it's so bright. This, let me tell you, it's not cheap. But this will get all of whatever it is in your eye like any mascara, this will get it out. You only need a little bit, um, no skin issues. It does have slight, a slight um, medicine-y kind of smell a little bit. <laughs> I don't mind it, but I love it. I just rub, rub, rub. When I tell you in between my lashes are clean from any type of mascara, this is your girl. You only need a little bit, so I would definitely recommend if you are having, okay, I'll give you an example. If you take a shower at night and wash your face and do all that and wake up and you still have mascara in your eye, check this out. <laughs> so that's another, that's a new holy grail. I'm probably forever going to buy that when it's available because sometimes it's completely sold out in um, not Safari and Ulta. 
I'll probably have to get it online, but that is another holy grail that I'm gonna always use on my skin. Another holy grail is something that is also affordable, and that is the Neutrogena face mask. Now, Jackie Aina mentioned these many years ago, and this is a part of like the Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost line. Absolutely love it, along with their hyaluronic acid. So I'm gonna show you guys. I bought hyaluronic acid, which I thought, and I bought the wrong one the other day. So I'm a little upset, but this is the Hydro Boost Water Gel. It's a little bit different from, I don't even know if you guys can see it. It's a little bit different from the hyaluronic acid because it's like a white color. But the hyaluronic acid along with this, baby, you don't know what you're missing, okay? <laughs> so that's another holy grail. The rest of the items are new to my skincare, but I've been using them for some months now. I think I did a, a review on them before. And I'll just start with the two moisturizers. Okay, this one I told you guys before. You're not gonna be able to see this, this sucks. Um, let me see. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it. Well, maybe. Can you see that? That's the Skin Fix Barrier and the Confidence in Cream um, Moisturizer. Girls, I got the big one by accident, okay? But I'm glad I got it. <sighs> Between this and my new vitamin C, my skin feels so plumped when I'm on my way to bed. It just, and I wake up, it just feels so good. So these two moisturizers, they're not the cheapest, but I think this goes a long way. You only need a small tidbit of each of these. If you can get the little scooper, that will definitely help so you're not over using your product. But this along with my other Holy Grail, I will never not use this now. This is my new vitamin C, Image MD. I don't even know if it's focusing for you guys. When I tell you between this and this, it's your secret sauce, okay? You have to be able to clean your skin properly. I've said this before, I am not an esthetician, but I know that clean skin is where it's at. So another part of my holy grail, another thing that's new would be my Peter Thomas Roth face scrub it's very gentle you only need a little bit it ain't cheap but it is a holy grail i've tried the neutrogena face scrub the next day it looked like i had like a heat rash on my face so i immediately ceased all use on that this one no issues and i don't know if it's because it's a consider a luxury brand I don't know, I just try to get things that do not mess up my skin. And immediately I was able to see that difference the next day from that scrub from Neutrogena. The other thing is for my dark skin girls, well women period. I wasn't a girl who wore sunscreen a lot. I would put like, not sunscreen, SPF. This, I would use it. One of my products that I used to use, another moisturizer, it had it in it, but this one. It's my lens, guys. I got the wrong lens in. I hope you guys can see that. Ooh, this is called La Roche Posay. Now, this is the daily antioxidant serum with sunscreen. Love it. You only need a little bit. I do not put this on at night. I only put it on when I'm going out into the sun. So that's it for the holy grails for my skin. And then I'm gonna just show you guys again what I've been using for a few months now, which is the Clean Skin Club. I don't even know. Clean Skin Club towelettes. A girl just did a TikTok and she was saying that Viva something um, that she's using because it feels soft. I got a discount with these. They come every 90 days, two boxes. I like it. I don't think it's that bad in price, especially if you can get like a discount. I think I pay for two boxes, like $21. It's not that bad. I got a coupon. Whenever I started, I, whenever I, I signed up for it, I did get like a discount, so I'm cool with that. So those are all of my beauty products that I absolutely that are absolutely my holy grail products. I'm never gonna stop using them. If you guys want more videos with skincare, let me know. 
I do not try a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you guys that now. But if I do see something that comes out as far as like a makeup or something, I definitely will bring that to you guys. I do wanna start trying Fenty products. That is solely because I wanna give you guys um, some black brands that do have great skincare products and makeup so you guys can try it too. Now, I am almost 100% sure you guys have seen women do product makeup videos all over the place but not for me so i'll share that with you guys when i do try them out which is probably going to be pretty pretty soon as far as the foundation i do want to try out bobby brown i'm going to check that one out i'm going to check it out i've seen some good reviews so i'll check them out as well but thank you guys for tuning into this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC and style services, Coco Styles NY. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.